how do you find successful people to connect with and be friends with? Like, how do you level up your friend group? If you're interested in leveling up your friend group and you're like, girl, how do I connect with some other successful, amazing women? Or if you're a man watching this, some other successful, amazing men, you're in luck because we're gonna get into it right now. Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time online life and business coach as well as wife and mom. Truly wear all the hats and do all the things. And I know I say that and it's like, oh, wow, like how are you able to do all of this? But if you can believe it, in my life, I am connected to so many other amazing women who are amazing business women, who are successful in their own right, who are also mothers and wives, and who are really wearing all the hats and doing all the things. And I feel so fortunate because we not only get to bounce ideas off of each other, but, but really just being in each other's presence really has that kind of iron sharpens iron effect. And I find that it makes me not only a better business person, but a better wife, a better mom, and it really just makes me a better person all around. And so I know a big question that I get more frequently lately is how do you find successful people to connect with and be friends with? Like, how do you level up your friend group? Because that is something that I definitely had to do. And I say that not because like my friend group wasn't, you know, at that level. In fact, I'm still friends with my dearest and closest friends to this day. Um, I love, you know, visiting them, even though they live in different states. So I definitely have to get on a plane to visit them. They've leveled up in their own right, which is really amazing. And so I consider them a part of my successful friend group, but even moving to a new city and making new friends is something that I had to do. I, you know, moved from uh, DC to Dallas when I first graduated from school and got my full-time job and then later moved from Dallas to Houston where I am currently based. And so I've had to get connected with people and I really strive to connect with people who are going the same places that I want to go and have the same values that I have and are hard workers and are into, you know, entrepreneurship and, you know, desire to be successful as well. And that is something that I can say I have successfully done. So if you're interested in leveling up your friend group and you're like, girl, how do I connect with some other successful, amazing women? Or if you're a man watching this, some other successful, amazing men in order to just bounce ideas off of other people and just make yourself better. You're in luck because we're going to get into it right now. Okay, the first step when it comes to leveling up your friend group and connecting with successful people is you wanna make sure that you have something that you are bringing to the table. And I say this because so often people get in this space where they're like, I wanna level up my friend group and I just only wanna connect with successful people because they're looking to get something, right? Maybe they want the social status of being connected with certain people or they're hoping that they can connect with people who are gonna help them grow their business or help them get clients or whatever. Again, that's a very kind of like, selfish kind of taking mentality and people can really sense that on you and they're not going to want to connect with you and they're definitely not going to want to be friends with you. So it's very important that when you do desire to level up and maybe move in different circles or connect with successful people that you do it from a place of you have something that you want to give and you just want to be a part of the conversation. So if there's one thing that I know about successful ambitious business people is that we love getting other ideas and just kind of rubbing shoulders with and connecting with other like-minded individuals just because it makes us all better and so one key thing that a lot of successful people look for is they're looking for other people who have something that they can bring to the table that way everybody wins everybody learns something and it's not a position of oh you're just in our circle because you're just looking to like take and you're looking to pick our brains and like blow your own business up but you don't really have anything else to give so you really want to get clear on what are those things that you have that are valuable even if you are just getting started and you're just building your business there might be some things even on a personal personal level that you can contribute. Maybe you are really good with managing your home, right? Maybe you are a master when it comes to getting off work and whipping up, you know, delicious, healthy, you know, whatever organic meals for your family and you want to be connected with successful people. Well, that's something that you can bring to the table, even though you might be still growing your business or desire to get to their level in other arenas, you can still bring something where you're like, Hey, I'm really good at this. And you know, I'd love to, you know, just share my best tips and it doesn't even have to be on some like, Oh, I will coach you and you can buy my program, but maybe just go out to lunch with people and you just have conversations about, you know, the challenges of whatever, you know, running a business as busy women. And you just have that to share because you're just really good at it. So it doesn't always necessarily need to be that, you know, you are as successful as the people that you are looking to connect with, but you do want to have something that they would be interested in that you can bring to the table because it makes you valuable and valuable people love connecting with other people who have value. It's the truth. All right. The next thing that you'll want to do, if you want to 
wanna connect with successful people and level up your friend group is you'll wanna go where successful people go and you wanna do the things that successful people do. This is kind of similar advice, I guess, that you would get in dating. I, I, I know a lot of people are frustrated by maybe their best friend who complains about not meeting their you know ideal partner and it's like, girl, you never leave the house. Like, you never go anywhere. You're, you're not gonna find them, you know, just sitting at home, right? Well, it's the same thing when you wanna level up your friend group. You're not gonna find these amazing successful friends if you're just sitting at home on Instagram all day. And I know it can feel like, oh, well, it's like social media and isn't there some like Facebook group that I can join or some way that I can get connected online? But I found that my greatest and strongest relationships have been developed offline. Now that's not to say that I didn't initially connect with somebody online, but again, I found that I've been able to nurture those relationships and really turn those relationships into true friendships by connecting offline. And so you wanna ask yourself, what are the different committees that you know successful people are on? I remember when I first moved to Dallas, Texas, and you know I was uh, fresh out of college, and then later um, you know got engaged and married, and just really trying to build up my network. I joined uh, the Dallas Urban League, right? And I uh, volunteered on different committees, and I got to meet a lot of other successful young professionals that were in the city. So you want to ask yourself, what are the activities that they're engaged in? Here's a hint: most successful people, especially at this age, I'm in my 30s. A lot of successful people that I know in their 30s and 40s are not going to the club. They're not, you know, doing kind of ridiculous things. Um, you know, they're very much about their family, they're about their business, and they're about their community. So you might see them at, you know, charity golf outings, definitely any charity events, any different types of business events, you know, maybe the more upscale restaurants in your area. So you want to think about what are the activities that they're engaged in and see how you can get plugged in and you can engage in those activities too, because then you're more likely to run into successful people that you can connect with. All right, the next thing that you wanna do, and this is a little more challenging, but I find a lot of people really mess this up, is you wanna position yourself as a peer. Yes, here's the thing, especially if you're connecting with successful people, they have a lot of people asking things from them, right? Oh, can you you know, help me with my business? Can you hire me? Can you donate to this? Like, They're kind of a magnet for people who are always looking for something from them, even well-meaning people. And so I find that one of the best ways to connect with successful people is really to position yourself as a peer. And for for me, this isn't like, like a made up, like fake it till you make it or an affectation. Like you really need to see yourself as a peer. And that's how I've always seen myself, even as I was growing my business, again, because I know my value, going back to the step one that we talked about, I knew that I could rub shoulders in certain circles, even as I was growing my business, because I recognized the value that I brought to the table and I just have a level of confidence. And so I, I just say this because I don't want you to like make this up or try to like fake it, but you do want to position yourself as a peer, but it should come from inside that you really feel that way. Like you really feel like, you know what? These are people that I want to connect with. I feel like these are my people. I'm on this level. I'm ambitious too. I'm smart too. I have value to bring to the table too. We're on the same level and you want to position yourself that way. And so when I say position yourself that way, think about what are some things that you can be involved in where you would also be seen as a peer, right? So I know that I met a lot of amazing women that are in my network to this day by speaking on the same panels that they were speaking on. So when I first moved to Houston, I got invited to do different speaking engagements and I met a lot of different women just because they were speaking at the same speaking engagement I was. And there was that natural peer level because it was like, oh, you're a speaker, I'm a speaker, I've never met you before. Tell me about what you do, how did you get invited to this event? And then we start talking and, and again, exchanging value, connecting with each other. And it's like, oh my goodness, you're totally someone that I want to know. We should do lunch sometime. And then it really just grows from there. So think about different arenas, whether it's speaking events or volunteering, again, charity events. Maybe there are different um, charity galas that you can go to. And typically you do uh, wanna make a donation or sometimes they um, will sell different seats at tables. So you might be able to make a donation in order to get a seat at a particular table. It doesn't even have to be very expensive, but again, going to these charity events and seeing yourself as a peer and saying like, you know what? I am a philanthropist. I do donate to charity. I do speak at speaking engagements. I do do these things, do those things, and you will end up finding successful people that you can connect with. All right, I have more where that came from, but first I wanna hear from you. Are you looking to level up your friend group? Share in the comments below. All right, this next one that you'll wanna do is kind of similar to positioning yourself as a peer, but it's, it's a slight tweak and that is present 
present yourself as a peer. And so what I mean by that is like literally your presentation. So I know that there's this idea of like, oh, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And I agree with that, right? I, I think that that's true. You should not judge a book by its cover. But what is also true is that people do make snap judgments about you oftentimes from your appearance. And so if you are, you know, walking out of the house and you're like in sweatpants and you're just kind of like shuffled around, you know, maybe that's okay if you're running to 7-Eleven or like to the drugstore and you don't really, you know, plan on running into anybody or meeting anybody. But if you're really serious about upgrading your friend group, you do want to upgrade how you show up and how you present yourself. So a very simple way to do this is if you are traveling, right? I think, um, I know there's this whole discussion around like whether it's okay to wear bonnets at the airport or can you wear slippers or I'm, I get on the plane in my pajamas. Listen, I'm not going to tell anybody how they should dress or what they want to do. Cause again, it really depends on what your goals are. But if your goal is leveling up your friend group, and I would imagine that it is because you are watching this video, you want to take care of your presentation. And so again, you want to position yourself as a peer. Well, you want to present yourself as a peer and all the successful people I know, I'm just being honest. They're not showing up at the airport in like pajamas, right? You know, and like, crazy stuff on their hair. Like they, they're, you know, maybe they, their hair is not done, but it's fine. They just put it in a, a low bun. Maybe they have some sunglasses, jeans, maybe a nice blazer, some nice loafers. Like they still keep it kind of classy and elevated. And so you want to position yourself in the same way. So think about how you can present yourself as a peer again by your appearance. And it doesn't mean that you have to run out and buy the most expensive clothes or anything, but it does mean taking extra care, you know, taking extra care in your appearance and not just um, throwing anything on just because you have to run somewhere because you never know who you might meet. And I cannot tell you how many amazing people I've met just while out and about, right? So granted, I've never met anyone by like running to, uh, to the drugstore or to like Walgreens or 7-Eleven, you know, across the street from my house, but you know, running to the grocery store, stopping at the mall. I've been stopped at the mall before, especially I had uh, one lady who ended up being like a buyer for a really large, um, a uh, fashion line and she connected with me and she just commented on something I was wearing. She was like, oh, you know, I really love your out outfit. And I'm like, oh, thanks. And we get into this conversation and ended up exchanging phone numbers. So I, I just cannot tell you how many times I've connected with someone and someone has stopped me and they're like, oh, that's such a cute bag or I love your hair or whatever, you know, something that I have on and it becomes kind of a conversation piece and allows me to really introduce myself. And then I get to know the person. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that person is amazing. But had I not taken the time that day to like, put on a real outfit, maybe I would not have connected with that person. So I know some people are going to feel, oh, it shouldn't take all that. But again, we can operate how the world actually works, or we can kind of stay in la la land around the way we wish that it works. But the way that the world actually works is that successful people like to connect with people who present themselves in a certain way. And so you want to keep that in mind. All right, the next thing that you'll wanna do if you want to make friendships with successful people is that you'll want to follow up and you'll want to follow through. In fact, I would say this is one of the most important tips and strategies that I've given in this video because so many people fail at this, right? What good is it if you do all these different things, right? You uh, get clear on what's the value that you bring to the table. You go to the different events that they're at. You're speaking on panels. You're positioning yourself as a peer. You're dressing well. You're doing all these things and you're having these great conversations. You exchange information and then nothing ever becomes of it because you never followed up. And I know how easy it is to get busy, but do not get so busy that you do not follow up and that you don't follow through. So following up is very simple, even though it can be difficult for a lot of people. And that's simply if you exchange information, follow up, right? Follow up the next day. Or if you met them on the weekend, follow up on a Monday and schedule some time to connect with them. Maybe you're like, Hey, I had a really um, great time chatting with you, you know, at the mall. So random that we both ran into each other while like buying clothes for our kids, but I'd love to learn more about what you're doing in the city and how I can support you. Just wanted to know if you're available for lunch sometime, you know, this month, send me your, your dates and we'll get something on the calendar. Like literally I've sent <laughs> text messages like that. Like that's almost like verbatim. I've sent texts like that. I've sent emails like that. You can even kind of create a little script that you keep in the notes on your phone or that you keep as like a draft email. And then when you meet people, it's really easy. You don't have to think about what to say. You just send the same email out and then you're getting, um, you know, these appointments on your calendar. Calendar, so definitely follow up. But in addition to that, you'll want to follow through. And so what I mean by following through is if there's anything that you promise, even if it's something simple, like you, you said, oh, you know, you connected with someone's another mom, like at the playground, and you think that she might be a successful friend that you want to connect with. And you said, oh yeah, I'm going to send you um, the recipe that I use that my son loves. I have a picky eater too. And this is my one, you know, spaghetti recipe that, you know, every toddler who has tried it loves it. So if you have 
a picky eater, like he's totally gonna love it. Let's say you had that conversation and you offered that recipe to that mom, um, follow through, right? Don't just follow up, follow through and send the recipe. And so I, I kind of give like a personal kind of lighthearted example because oftentimes we understand this from a business context. Like, oh, if you said that you're gonna like, you know, send somebody something from a business perspective that you need to do it. But sometimes we can just like be chatting with new friends and we casually talk about like, oh yeah, I can um, send you that book recommendation or I can send you that recipe or whatever. And then we end up not doing it. And again, it, it hurts your uh, chances and opportunities to really create these relationships with successful people. So definitely follow up and make sure that you are following through because successful people are successful in part because they have really good follow through and they expect that of the people that they are connecting with as well. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now I know for myself, one of the greatest things that has really helped me connect with successful people is simply by having a successful business. Yes. It allows me to get invited to different speaking engagements. Oftentimes clients will refer me to other people that I should know, and then we'll end up becoming friends. And so I'm a big believer that entrepreneurship does wonders, not just for, you know, your finances or for your time freedom, but also for your social circle as well. And so if you're really serious about building a successful online business and you want to monetize your information, your expertise, and turn it into an online coaching expert or just personal brand business in general, I invite you to join me in my signature program, the next big name bootcamp. This teaches you everything you need to know from A to Z in order to do exactly that. So if that is something that you're interested in, you can click the link below to apply. And if accepted, we will invite you to a call with our enrollment coordinators and let you know next steps to join the program. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you loved it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you can't wait for my next video, make sure that you are subscribed to my podcast, the Courtney Sanders show on both iTunes and Spotify. And if you can't wait for my next podcast episode or my next YouTube video, make sure that you are following me on Instagram. It's Courtney L Sanders on Instagram. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.